Yep. It's gone. Hello, Embedded folks. Uh, this is the uh, digital effects team, and uh, we have prepared for you some stuff that has not been done around here since I've been here, so it should be cool. What we're doing is that we are translating digital effects processing in MATLAB, and we're putting it into a DSP processor, and uh, we're trying to get digital effects out of it. Besides digital effects, we're also trying to get drives such as distortion and fuzz, which should be fun. And uh, if you know, if you're familiar with these stuff, usually digital effects suffer from tonal degradation and literally losing their warm analog sound. So the goal is to get the sound as good as possible so it can live up to analog sound. I'm gonna pass it over to my teammate, Philip, and he's gonna to explain to you the process of writing the pro signal processing in MATLAB and how we convert it into C. Okay, so we started out um, just with some audio files, recordings uh, made of a clean guitar, um, wrote some MATLAB functions that do things like distortion fuzz. Um, the, the, the problem with that idea is that MATLAB can look at the entire file pretty much all at once or step through it really quickly. And uh, uh, the, the way we need to implement this, we don't know the, uh, the, the, the length of the music we're going to play, so we have to implement it real time. Uh, so far we, we started with distortion because it's, it's real easy, one value in, one value out. Um, and uh, it works great in MATLAB, unfortunately uh, we can't work with float point on this, it has to be in integers. Um, given that some of the functions uh, are based on the, the idea that the signal range is from negative one to one, uh, and all the uh, mathematical properties associated with those numbers. This is actually proving more difficult than we originally thought. But uh, for now, we, uh, we have uh, distortion working somewhat well. It needs some tweaking though. Uh, go ahead and uh, give us a little sample. Sure. So first I'm going to explain the hardware a little bit. What we have here, thanks to Dr. Schmidt, we have a DSP processor here that was kind of hard to work with because it's brand new processor that is a DSP core processor, meaning it does not come with a general purpose processor next to it. So it does everything by itself. It's very powerful and uh, we also designed a um, three band equalizer plus volume and tone control which will be attached to this device as we're going. So at the time we were able to pass an analog signal from the guitar into the board and have it come out. So in the middle of that path, we have put the distortion effect in there, but because we have to do a lot of tweaking, it's going to sound a little, a little like lower quality. So here's what the clean sound looked like. So we're going to have to change the volume because our distortion is bumping the signal up a lot. So we have to figure that out. So our clean is a lot lower than our distorted. So here's what the clean sounds like. This signal goes into the effects processor and it gets clipped. So if we turn on the distortion, meaning that we could not get a hold of these edge connectors yet, it's on the way, so we're just utilizing the switches on the board to turn on and off the distortion. So he has to lower the volume, and then when I turn on, LED turns on denoting that the distortion effect is engaged, then I get to... sound a lot better, a lot warmer as we go along because this takes a lot of tweaking. So now I'm going to pass it back to Philip and he's going to explain what we're going to have to deal with until next week so we can have a complete effect system. The biggest problem we're dealing with right now is um, uh, we're starting out with the idea of typecasting, uh, taking our integers, uh, getting them into flow point, adjusting the, the ranges so that it uh, stays between negative one and one. Uh, that actually is uh, killing the signal at, at any, any kind of low, low amplitude. Uh, so we're going to have to revamp this, this software to work with integers. And uh, we're going to be spending the next little while doing that, probably even continuing the project through the summer. For sure. This is, this is no small project. This is uh, open-ended. You can add effects as you want, make them better and better. So uh, there's no end to this kind of a project. So we're happy to work with this, and uh, I want to thank you for listening.